Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios once again for the most anticipated fight of all time between two individuals who look like they quit their jobs at Walmart to try to give boxing a try. Let the games begin. Round one, fight. Come here. Perfect. Come back here, you little son of a bitch. <laughs> Clearly, this fight isn't sponsored by New Balance. What kind of slip and slide ring is this? Out there looking like they playing Dance Dance Revolution with a side of Twister. Oh, Wait a minute. The uppercut nearly ejected this man's cassette tape. Team Lightskin thought he had the upper hand because the balded bearded black man clearly couldn't keep his balance. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Brother bounced off the rope so fast, I thought he was a luchador. Hello, Rey Mysterio. Who's that It's up to you. Do you want to continue or not? Yes! Huh? What the hell wrong with you? Get away from me! Huh? Did he just slap him with the glove? Finish him! Oh, I missed! This man missed the punch but felt the recoil. How did he fall? They combined for 70 thrown punches and only connected on three! What the fuck? What is that? Time! End of round one. If this ain't the sloppiest boxing match I've ever seen in my life, both these brothers in there looking incoherent. It's as if they're going in and out of dementia in the midst of battle. Their accuracy is lower than condoms in Nick Cannon's house. How'd this brother fall? Then you got the ring girl doing push-ups in the middle of the ring. What kind of promotion is this? Oh my. Excuse me, I'm gonna go masturbate. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Round two, fight! Jesus Christ! Five seconds into the second round, this brother already touching Earth. He didn't even get hit! Cool, right? Let's try this again. Hit him with a DDT! God damn it, Jake the Snake Roberts. Do it again! Nobody connected on a punch, but we've had three knockdowns in this round. At this point, they fighting each other's shadows. I could have seen a better fight at Denny's at 4 a.m. Got you, dudes. Got the fuck. How? Hold on, bro. How? This brother went down so much, you would have thought he showed up for oral sex. Cool, right? Let's try this again. Come here. This man combined it a punch and a clothesline to the point he went down to his knees. How many knockdowns till the ref stops the fight? Ah! God damn, this brother on all fours. What is happening? All power, no technique. These brothers should be breakdancing on the streets of Harlem. Can't hit they target like stray bullets. Look at this man. At no point in fighting should your body ever do a motion like this. Homie in the ring water bending, doing some sort of ritual dance, bringing voodoo to a ring near you. I don't know if they should call the medic or the high priest. And we still got one round to go. In the ring looking like bears, trying their best not to fall asleep after being shot with tranquilizers never in my life have i seen somebody fall like this and managed to not only take himself down but his opponent as well this truly got to be the boxing version of twister they've touched every piece of the ring looking like they got febile fragile bones what happened to their testosterone and now a word from our sponsors fellas we're all trying to navigate through this journey we call life but what if i told you on those days months weeks in which you feel as if you got a low level of energy perhaps you got a lack of confidence or even a lack of focus that you're not alone because I myself always chalked everything up to anxiety until I stopped and said, man, this is a pattern amongst the men in my family. So I decided to do a little bit of research to figure out what was going on. And I discovered that. Did you know testosterone levels have decreased substantially over generations? Our father's generation had testosterone levels that were 25% higher than ours today. And I myself was fearful before I discovered Hone Health, their premier men's health clinic that only offer products and treatments prescribed by a physician that consults with you directly. The thing is, this is not our fault. There are many factors such as environmental changes that are affecting our generation. Today, 30 million men in the U.S. have low testosterone that is affecting their daily lives. And although I'm not a medical expert, Hone Health is, and they'll be there with you every step of the way. There's a lot of misconceptions about testosterone, which is so much more than just a sex hormone. Optimizing your testosterone can lead to increasing your energy, increasing muscle mass, and more focus and a better overall mood. Hone helps men get testing and treatment for low testosterone from the comfort of your own home. 
The entire process is really easy. All you have to do is collect your sample and mail it back to the lab. Once the results are ready, you'll video call with a real doctor and they'll recommend you a personalized treatment plan based on your biomarkers and symptoms. And treatment options include FDA approved medications and they're delivered straight to your door. Order Hone's easy at home assessment test today and learn about your testosterone levels. And for a limited time only, my viewers will not only get the at home testing, but also a doctor's consultation for only 45 bucks. So do yourself a favor and click the link in my description. Go to honehealth.com slash chiseled and take advantage today. That's honehealth.com slash chiseled. Head over there right now. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Hello there, young lady. That's that brother's trainer. He looked like he sell New Testament Bibles on the boulevard. No wonder this fight is terrible. What that man know about boxing? Final round. Fight. God damn it. I knew he was a luchador. He's an overweight Rey Mysterio. He tried to set him up for the 619. It wasn't my fault. Continue. Back to the action or lack thereof we go. Die. These brothers couldn't hit a parked car. They must be trying to generate electricity with the amount of windmill punches I've seen today. Gotcha, bitch. Ow! With 20 seconds remaining, both these brothers gas like super heavyweight models. They're both less efficient than the 1973 Lincoln Continental. They both looking like a created character before you have enough points to increase their attributes. All they can do in the final moments was hug each other in acknowledgement for one of the worst fights of all time. And look at them finish it up like it's an anime. They both blocked a punch and pulled their final one. Where's Michael Bay when you need him? There should have been an experience explosion in the background like this was Power Rangers and it appears the balded bearded winded overweight discount Leonard Fournette leaves with the victory they didn't even touch up gloves no post fight interview they walking straight to the locker room where I hope they never fight again damn near the whole fight was spent on the ground windmill punches bouncing off of ropes they would have probably failed the sobriety test while sober legend has it in their youth when playing the floor is lava they'd lose voluntarily in the midst of combat on his way to the ground this man threw a spinning back wrist not even fist how you get a two for one takedown with you included the bible says the lord is omnipresent and there wasn't a human in the ring getting punched so the holy spirit was getting fucked up cut the cameras ain't nobody trying to see this shit do it just do it make your dreams come true just do it please please